Do you ever feel like the legacy you want to leave won't turn out the way you planned? Man, um, it's a great question. I think anyone that's trying to leave a big legacy, like anyone that wants to uh, really make an impact on this world is going to have times where they doubt what they're doing. They're going to have times where they question, um, am I doing enough? Am I, am I doing the right things? Your know, legacy is something I talk a lot about and it's because it's the thing I think the most about. And I think you know, a lot of that has to do with the fact that I have a two and a half year old daughter and the second she was born, that became a more real thing in my life. Um, and I think I just I just believe that a lot of people look at legacy as what they leave for someone. And that to me is just past tense. That means you're already gone. Like the legacy is that like when I'm gone, what's gonna be remembered of me? Or my gone when I'm gone, what's gonna be left behind for my family? But I talk about this perspective of a living legacy. Like what type of legacy are you living right now? Um, and it was a big paradigm shift that I had. You know, I was working crazy, 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 14, 16, 18, 20 hour days, over 200 nights in a hotel for three and a half straight years um, to do what I did. And at the time having a very young child and as she was getting you know, a little bit older to now actually being like a human being with memories and personality and you know, thoughts and it's, it's you know, a different world now, I had this you know, paradigm shift in, in this idea of legacy, legacy, legacy. It's all about legacy and realized one day. What kind of legacy am I really building and creating? If my daughter has to watch a video to see it, what type of legacy am I really creating? If my family has to watch a video to hear me say the things that I should be showing them on a daily basis. So this idea, I actually did a post this morning on Instagram where I talked about this, like, is it leaving a legacy in your family or is it leaving a legacy for your family? Because to mm. me, the idea of le leaving a legacy for your family means you're gone. Like that's when you're dead. It's what yeah. you left for them. But leaving a legacy in your family is something that's something that you're doing currently. It's like you're still around. And yeah. so my focus is now switched tremendously. I'm spending way more time with my family, way more time at home, and way more just intentional time uh, with my daughter and my wife, um, trying to leave a legacy in them. Uh, but just being intentional with that time, setting aside time that was specifically for connecting and just spending quality time uh, was extremely, extremely valuable uh, this past weekend. And it was so peaceful and, and resting. And I feel like I've hit the reset button. I've always been like focused on where things are going and what will happen when I get there and being able to do these types of things when I get there. But now realizing that like, you may not ever get there. <laughs> so you have to enjoy the time that you have now and make the absolute most out of every minute that you have, uh, especially with your loved ones. I've been putting all of you first, myself second, and my family third. And I'm a good salesman. So I insulted myself real hard on it, and I insulted her even harder. And so she was, she was pretty bought in, but I have a feeling that I had about 18 months, maybe, maybe two years left before I would have burned everything to the ground. And this realization that I now have that like, I really don't care about you guys at all. I care about me and her, and that's it. And it's only from the overflow of that that can really provide any value to you to begin with. Yes. Amen. And, and so I just want to say thank you for hanging in here.